Hey guys, today I'm going to do a fry update. So as you can see, the setup is a little bit different, and I'll talk about that um, towards the end of the video. So, um, I know I did a mini update, but it wasn't like a complete, like, full-on, let's talk about everything kind of thing. So, yeah, my fry, not my fry, my um, blue Mickey Mouse platy had fry on Friday, nope, Thursday night, and then... My little brother's red swordtail had fry um, Friday afternoon, I believe. Well, whenever I came home from the doctors, I saw it there. So over here in the first section, we have Platy, Molly, and Guppy Fry. My Platy is supposed to be in the middle, but um, it decided to go into the first section because it's able to fit into the little um, holes of the divider right there. Then in the middle is the other two platy fry, and at the end is still the six sword tail fry. So either I have two guppies and one molly, or one molly and two guppies. I think it's one molly and two guppies, I'm not positive. And then I'll talk about the fry over here. There is about 40, or maybe a little bit under 40, um, sword tail fry in here. And there's not enough room for me to put more dividers in here and I don't have any more dividers anyway so I ordered another one don't remember if I mentioned that but I ordered another one so if I won't have more fry I'll probably hang it on this side but I'm just gonna probably keep the sword tail fry in here because I actually kind of like this setup a little bit um so you, of course you have the water pumping up to here sorry about the camera not focusing but we have the water that's gonna pump up through here and then it's gonna fill up the water and then once it's filled up it's gonna come down here so what I have running in here is an air stone um, I just have these like small blue air stone so that the fry do get you know some source of oxygen the camera's not gonna focus but you should know what an air stone looks like anyways then I have my Tetra 5 to 15 gallon heater that's normally in my 10 gallon tank. It's not staying in. I'll fix it later. But we have that just there because, of course, the fry need a heater or something. Okay, it's not really need to stay, but figure something out later. And then, so like I said, there's the fry, and they're just in a tub, and I believe this tub is two and a half gallons, maybe bigger. So, um, yeah, I will see you guys next time. I'm pretty sure it's more than two and a half gallons. It probably is, like, about four gallons, because I had to use a whole, um, bucket full of water, so the bucket is four gallons. And a little bit more than that, actually. So, yeah, um, also, I'm still feeding them the high carb first bite, and I'm also giving this away, so make sure you go and check out my 50 subscriber giveaway. So I'm giving away that, and also... I'm still feeding them the Tetra Budworms. I just gave it to them today, and then tomorrow I'm probably going to give them the brine shrimp. Whee! There we go. Yeah, I'm still letting this camera's focus, but make sure you go ahead and check out the contest. And I will see you guys next time. Today, I just um, put the airline tubing under there and just inside now. So yeah, that's finally it.